Hey YouTube, Safety here. Just doing a little video on my solar panel setup and the way I've got my house set up for the event of an emergency. But you can see I've got this red line coming from the back here and it's going right back outside. i got to run through the wall. So that's actually going out to, you can see the door's cracked a little bit, out to my shed. These are the readouts going. The one on the left there, that's connected to my miniature fridge you saw. And, uh, the one on the right is connected to those power strips. And I'm just keeping an eye on the wattage. Right now there's really nothing going on. The fridge is in a sleep mode so it's pulling a little bit of power and you'll see that jump up to like 100, sometimes 400 which is weird when it really kicks on and pulls the torque. You're like You just gotta account for that. So that maxes at 400 which is kind of a pain because that's a buffer that I'll have to have at all times but if that fridge kicks on the whole grid kind of feels a little power jump that we were experiencing last night. The lights were flickering. And this one on the right here, it's, uh, it's just kind of a pole really of that box. I mean, that's what it takes to run that little meter there. But um, <clears throat> over to those those uh, panels, I've got, I've got two panels set up. One with uh, each one of those green cords goes to a light or a fixture of some sort. You'll see that one kind of goes off here to the left goes into the living room. Right. Um, so let's go ahead and kick this on. I think the lights will kick on right away. Yeah, so uh, that guy's on. So now you'll see there have got light here from the kitchen. You'll see the meters jumped up. So that's at 30. So that's point Right here is uh, another one of those lights in the living room. More pointing towards the hallway. You can see the shadow lines there lighting my hallway. All right, now back into the kitchen. You can see that the fridge just turned on, and then just turned off. So it actually ran for quite a bit longer than that. I'd turn on the camera and get it all ready, but you'll see that um, it was up, you know, 380 watts, which is a good amount of draw. And right now, this is all running off my 500 continuous watt guy with no monitor, or meter, or anything. I'm just testing it. It's one battery back on so we'll kick this on here you'll see it went up USB turns on and there goes the phone so we're good and uh, everything's charging all right so that is my setup and let's take a look outside and I'll show you where this is all coming from all right so as as you can see yeah, I'm just hitting my head left and right uh, I got it all set up out here right now temporarily and hopefully I'll be able to get a bigger inverter because that one's really weak but the bigger inverter costs like $200 and that's just too much um, but I don't need a bigger charge controller that should be able to handle up to two panels three panels maybe um, it'll have one wind turbine but I think I'm going to build my wind turbine set, uh, totally separate um, and then just run it to the same batteries. So these are the two 12 volt deep cycle 125 amp hour marine batteries that I bought from Costco, Kirkland brand. And I plan on setting them up in series, but I don't have the money to buy the cables I need because they are quite expensive and I'm working on that. So right now I'm just running it in. Um, One's being charged while the other one's being drained, keep them both about halfway. So what's nice is one of these batteries will power my mini fridge for over 12 hours. So that's why I have my mini fridge on all the time. And then one battery charging off my solar panels. And then I have my power dome, my wagon power dome in the garage charging off my two portable 12 volt battery chargers and it keeps it topped off and ready to go in the state of an emergency. So that's that's my solar panel setup right now. Hopefully I kept it short. Stay safe YouTube and I'll catch you soon.